Hey guys, Aster here. We are back today for another live in, uh, well, not in the OU tier. As you can see, uh, we're going to be doing random battles today on Showdown. We're going to be experimenting in this tier. It's, uh, well, it's not really a tier. It, it is, but it's just, you get a random team of six out of all the Pokemon possible, and you just play against each other. It's more for fun. Today's, uh, today's a lot more of a fun live. I was actually supposed to do this with somebody else, but, uh, they're uh, not getting back to me, so, uh, we're gonna... Is, uh, does he resist this? No. Uh, we're going to play on our own here, so. Um, he does have Sturdy. Yeah, just gonna Volt Switch here. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, so I'm probably gonna be bringing on other people at some point onto these, uh, cause I really enjoy random battles. Uh, they're, they're super fun, they're, they're relaxed, you don't have to stress out, so. Definitely, uh, definitely worth, uh, worth looking at. So he's gonna go for his rocks right there. We are still gonna commentate the moves. <laughs> Uh, because or else it's gonna be really boring, but I'm gonna try to toss in a couple of other things here and there as you guys already know uh, Probably from last episode. I got my new mic So I'm, I'm keeping it a little bit further from my face because I noticed that uh, there was a lot of <laughs> Going on in the mic on the last episode, so hopefully that's fixed uh, with the mic being a little bit further and uh, He's gonna go into spirit tune here uh, What do I want to go into? We shed skin, no we are not, but we are rest. Uh, just gonna go Darm here, actually. Yeah, so, I'm gonna be able to take that Will-O-Wisp just fine, and uh, we'll fire off a Flare Blitz, because we are Life Orb. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna try to get on other people here, probably other YouTubers, maybe my own personal friends. I did not expect Spiritomb to go down in one hit there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little shocked, but uh, this is a Darm out of 10, so. Um, yeah, so if you guys have any suggestions as to who uh, who I can bring on, if you know anybody, if uh, if you want to come on yourself, and I mean I'm just starting up the channel, right? So if you want to come on yourself and, and uh, hit up uh, a couple of games on Random Battle, it can be fun. We'll even play each other, so uh, definitely something worth looking at. Anyway, here I'm going to what outspeed this Raichu. Dark Rye outspeeds it as well. Don't really want to take a Thunder Wave though. Just gonna go Raichu. Yep. And we are Lightning Rod, so we won't be able to Thunder Wave at all, even if you wanted to. And uh, we're just gonna focus Blast here. Yeah. Hopefully it brings in like uh Okay, never mind. It goes for Sucker Punch. So uh, we're gonna go for Focus Blast. Unfortunately, we're gonna miss right there. And I'm gonna go for Encore. And uh, basically, I'm just gonna Encore him repeatedly into Sucker Punch. Uh, as eventually he's going to break out of the Encore and go for an offensive move, right? I think so. I think he wouldn't go for Sucker Punch again. Just not to get encore right? Yeah, I'm gonna go for Focus right here. Hopefully he's a smart player and he knows not to go for Sucker Punch again. Because I'll just Encore him into it and basically stall him out of his Sucker Punches. Uh, he could either switch here or... I don't think he's going for Sucker Punch. There's no way. There's no way he's... What? That's a bad play. That's a bad play. I could have I could have encored him into it again. But uh, it's fine. We can go Scrafty here. And what we can actually do is uh, just bulk up. And hopefully Scrafty can take, off, uh, can take on the rest of his team. What I really like about this, uh, about this style of play is that you don't see your opponent's team at all. Uh, it's, uh, it's hidden except for the lead, of course, which comes out first. But it's, uh, it's cool for that reason. So he's going to U-turn here, he's going to take extra life orb damage, he's going to take uh, rocks damage when he comes back in, and he's switching into a knockoff, so I don't ag agree with that play completely. Uh, he's going to go into Probo Pass here, not going to be able to do a lot of damage to that thing, and uh, I'm just going to go for a high jump kick here, and knock it out, that's quite effective, no amount of defense can save you, I'm plus one. So, the play is Basculin, okay, 210 attack. Definitely do a little bit of damage to me. i um, curious to see how much, though, at plus one defense. Because we are very defensive. If he's banded, then... I'm gonna go Hippo here, actually. I'm predicting a superpower, if you don't know. Let's see. Because he actually goes for Waterfall. Okay. Sure. <laughs> sure. Uh, gonna go into Slow King here. Uh, he's... He might not be banded. But seeing as he did, he did knock out my Hippolyta on one hit, I'm pretty sure he is banded. Um, so I'm just gonna throw out a Scald here. As you can see, he switched out, so he's more than likely banded. And I guess he predicted my, uh, my Hippowdon to come in, and didn't want to go for a Superpower. Because I know Basculin carries Superpower, and Crunch. 
So it's able to hit pretty much everything on my team. I don't know, I can't remember what my last mod is anymore. Uh, Dark Ride, right, okay, yeah, so it can definitely, well, I mean, it won't, it won't be faster than this, so that's not too bad. I'm just gonna Toxic this, this he's gonna Toxic me right back, and, um, now I can go into Scrafting, my defenses are even, I'm just especially bulky as I am physical, so, that's definitely what I'm gonna do. He could be Rest, Lapras, but he's also going to allow me to, uh, he's gonna Thunderbolt right there, okay. I'm um, just gonna go for the eye Jump Kick, got no reason not to. Should be faster than this. It's probably not max speed. So, okay, never mind. It is max speed. Uh, we are going to be able to take out his Lapras right there. He can go into Basculin, but if he locks himself in a water move, that just means Slow King's coming right back in. So, uh, and I don't think Basculin's faster than Dark Rai either. Uh, he chooses to go Zangoose. Okay, that's a little bit scary. Um, I'm going to go for Rest right here as he goes for Facade. Good play on his part. Uh, is now kind of in a bad spot because Sloking doesn't have the best defense. Basically, I have to go into Sloking just to sponge one hit. Uh, I have to go for the Psy Shock, I believe, is the best play. As he goes for a knockoff, okay. So now we <laughs> now we need to flinch this, basically. Um, actually, does he have anything to touch me? Oh, well, let's just flinch. You know what? <laughs> We're just gonna flinch this anyway, it doesn't matter. He's got close combat, okay, so yes, he does have something to hit me with. <laughs> Alright, so that one's gonna be a loss, unfortunately. Uh, we'll jump into the next one, he's got an Aromatisse, we got a Mighty Anna, not a good matchup for me, other than the fact that I have Iron Tail, and I am Expert Belt. Yeah, you're going down, aren't you? Um, what's the rest of my team? Hold on a second, let me just... I got a Steelix too, so I don't technically need to risk this right here. But I'm pretty sure it takes it out, come on. Yeah, there we go. That's a crit. It would have taken it about anyway, right? <laughs> we'll never know. We'll never know. We can calc it, but we'll never know. So, <clears throat> Mighty Anna about to sweep this guy's team. Fortunately, we picked up a loss on the first one. Really, really, really unfortunate. Uh, definitely wanted three wins in random battles, man. But, I mean, that's out of your control. You can't really... Uh, you're not... Uh, you're given a, a team of six, right? So, you can only do so much with it. Uh, he had a Zangoose at the end there, and had I flinched him with Dark Pulse, I would have won the game. That just had to hit a Dark Void to finish him off, so. Uh, he's gonna bring in his Mammoth Swine, kind of a threat. Definitely a threat. Don't want to stay in here. Uh, at the same time, what do I have to take this thing on? I guess Licky Licky, Licky can de definitely take a hit. Um, and we are Leftovers, right? Yes, we are, so we have Leftovers plus Protect. Should be good. We'll swap out right here, as he's probably gonna go for EQ. He's gonna go for Super Power, actually, okay. Did not see that one coming. Mammoth Swine doesn't typically run that. Um, don't know if, it, if that's banded damage or, or not, uh, but I'm just going to go into Crobat here. And on his lower defenses, we'll be able to Brave Bird, so. Um, we're Black Sludge. Yeah, just going to go for Brave Bird right here. If he's not banded, then whatever, but. Uh, Zirachi's going to come in, and it is indeed Leftovers. So I'm just going to Super Fang here and uh, damage this thing as much as possible. Bring it down to 45, 51 after the leftovers, so. Do I have U-turn on this? No, I do not. Just gotta go for Super Fang then. Get off as much damage on anything, really. Preferably this Jirachi. There we go, 45% off. And he goes, uh, 45% off. <laughs> Gonna go for Super Fang again. That's fine. Hopefully he's not Wish. We are Defog though, so we'll be able to get rid of these rocks. No problem. And, uh... Yeah, I, re I really wasn't expecting superpower coming from Mamoswine. It, it typically runs like knockoff, earthquake, icicle crash. I mean, I've run Mamoswine with uh, with that move set before, but it's very rare you see it. So I'm gonna go for defog right here. Just gonna get rid of these rocks. His Iron Head's obviously doing quite a bit. So is Super Fang though. I'm eventually gonna put him in the range of Brave Bird. So pretty much, uh, pretty much two more Super Fangs, I think. He's actually going to U-turn there. Awesome. Okay. Cool. I'll take it. His <laughs> Jirachi's out of here. And uh, I can sucker punch that thing later, so. Uh, really glad I kept my Nienna. It might be clutch this game. His Mammoth Swine might also be sashed. Or scarfed. Uh, it's definitely not banded. I'm pretty sure it's not banded, but I'm also pretty sure that it's locked into a move. Because it switched out on me. So... What's my switch here? I don't really have one, but I'm gonna sack off Licky Licky here, and 
and uh, we're gonna take that Icicle Crash, that's fine. And now I can go into Steelix and Mega Evolve and hit that Heavy Slime, I think, is the play. Uh, yep, definitely. As, obviously, his Icicle Crash is gonna be neutral, but do you see this thing's defense? Steelix is one of the most defensive Pokemon in the game. I think it's, like, fourth or fifth. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Deoxys' defense has higher, but... Uh, we are gonna go for the Heavy Slime right here. It's not gonna be able to take out Jirachi, unfortunately. But, uh, I'm just gonna go Crobat here. Honestly. Because if he has Fire Punch, then it won't do too much. Uh, he's gonna U-turn right there. Okay, cool. You can bring back in your Mamoswine if you want. At this point, I'm just gonna Brave Bird as Mamoswine, I think. I mean, that's the play. Uh, or I can switch back out into Steelix. Uh, he's gonna go Soul Rock, Sun and Moon confirmed. Um, definitely a Rock type and a, Psy and a Psychic type. Okay, so it's uh, it's my exact opposite. It, it pretty much takes me down. Um, but I can just go Steelix on this thing, right? Does it, does it even get any fire moves? It's a sun. It should. But I don't know if it does. So I'm going to go Mighty Anna Mighty here. It's actually going to go for Will-O-Wisp, so that's unfortunate. Uh, I didn't really have a good switch into that anyway. However, so... Um, here I'm just going to play rough. Uh, actually, Iron Tail is better here. Definitely. And I think an Iron Tail might still be able to take out Jirachi. I'm not 100% sure. It is a base 100 move. Uh, we are going to get off a little bit of damage on this thing. He's going to set up a light screen. That's not good. That means he's probably got Reflect as well. Just going to go for an Iron Tail again. He doesn't go for Reflect, though. He does get a flinch, however, so a little unfortunate. Going to go for Sucker Punch right here, as he probably thinks he can just take me out. So uh, Going to be able to get off a little more damage on this Soul Rock. Don't mind losing my Diana, really. It's not a big deal. Um, I can just go into Steelix after. Uh, but I also don't want to get will o -Wisps. I guess I could go Dust Ox if we get off enough damage, which we do, as he actually misses a Rock Slide right there. Okay, so I'm going for Iron Tail right here, because he's probably not going to go for an offensive move. He's going to let me go down to Burn, right? Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. <laughs> there we go. And now we get off, we get to get off one more Sucker Punch on something, even though we're burned, uh, that's still coming off of 147 attack. So this thing seems to be defensive in some way, so I'm just going to go for Fire Fang. And, uh, probably gonna be able to get a win on this one, I'm pretty sure. Don't be faster. Either way, even if he is faster, yeah, he's probably going for Stealth Rocks anyway to not let me sucker punch him, so. I'm gonna be able to get rid of Jirachi right there. And, uh, here I'm gonna go Mean Shao. Because it deals with the Mamoswine pretty well. As we can fake out and then high jump kick. And, uh, I mean, he would have to go for a ground move if he scarfed. And then I can just switch into Crobat and Defog both his screen and the rocks away. So, pretty good. Good times. So yeah, getting back to uh, to getting other YouTubers on here and stuff. Uh, I've already made a couple of friends in the community. Uh, not big names or anything, but uh, that'll come with time, I guess. But a couple of, uh, a couple of people that do post their content and... Uh, mostly from the uh, the league that I'm in, uh, the PWM, and uh, and from somewhere else, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that next Saturday. Not this coming Saturday, but the Saturday after I'll be uh, making an announcement video uh, once again on the channel. So, this guy chooses to go into Farfetch'd here. Um, we're definitely faster. I'm just going to fake out. I'm going to take Life Orb, but we are Regenerator. And then I'm just going to High Jump Kick, honestly. This is a pretty solid team. I like this. We did lose Licky Licky, but everything else makes sense together. Really, really nice. Uh, Fake Out does 25%, so if High Jump Kick doesn't kill, I'm going to be shocked. It's basically four times the damage of Fake Out. So, unless we miss or or something wild like that, but we should be able to take out his Farfetch, no, no problem. We are Life Orb, 237 attack. Yeah, this is definitely killing. Come on. Um, does it say uh, how much it is after the... Life Orb? No, it doesn't. It should. Come on! Really? We missed that? Uh, as he goes for Swords Dance, actually. Not sure why. Um, unless he has, like, Sucker Punch or something like that. Doesn't Farfetch get close combat? Now I'm worried. I, like, I know I'm, I'm still faster than him, but, like, I was really worried, because if he was, like, Sucker Punch, close combat, return, he could actually just sweep my whole team right there. So that was, that was really frightening. But, uh, we're able to pick up that kill. And, um, 
If he brings in his Mammoth Swine, I mean, it's pretty much confirmed that he's, um, he's Choice Scarfed. And I'm gonna go into Crobat first, just to scout for the EQ, because I don't want my Steelix taking an Earthquake. I don't care how bulky it is, it's not gonna take it too well coming from a Mammoth Swine. Um, so... Or do I value Crobat more? Because of Defog. Because we're Quiver on Dustox. But if this thing is Scarfed, it outspeeds me after one Quiver Dance anyway. Yeah, we're gonna go Crobat here, definitely. Yep. Alternatively, we could just scout to see if this thing is Scarfed right here. But if he goes for Ice Shard, then we still won't know. Yeah, I'm gonna go for Ice Jump Kick. Alright, good. So he wasn't Scarfed. We're able to get rid of that thing. And now he only has one Pokemon left, so if we lose this, there's a big problem. He would have to have, like, a Quiver Dance or, like, a uh, Volcarona. If his last Pokemon is Volcarona, I'm clicking X, guys. I'm, I'm just gonna let you know right now. Okay, cool. It's Chinchino. That's good. Uh, do we outspeed this? No, we do not. Uh, Steelix walls this, though. No problem. No problem. And Heavy Slime, I think, kills. We'll see, but I'm pretty sure. Tail Slap coming through. This is gonna do a total of 20%, I believe, not even. Just shy of 20%. And we're gonna go for Heavy Slam right here. He's most li more than likely locked into his Tail Slap, because these things normally run choice items if they're skill link. So, uh, that's not gonna be a... Uh, I really hope he's not King's Rock and flinches us every time. <laughs> like Bullet Seed or something like that. Uh, tail Slap come through again, and we are able to get off the Heavy Slam. And unless he crits... And with six times crits, like, crits that do six times the damage, he's not taking me out, so. We're good. We pretty much pick up that one. So, uh, I'll let it finish, and, uh, and yeah, and then we'll jump into the next one. Really liking this. This is a little more laid back, uh, as I lay back in my chair. And, uh, yeah, we're able to pick up the kill on that one, so. I'm uh, just gonna jump into a last one here. I think I'm gonna cut it uh, after this battle, regardless of the amount of time. Even if he forfeits, I, I'm pretty much gonna end it there. But uh, he leads off with a Meow Stick. I've got a pretty standard Mew with Aura Sphere, which I actually really like, because this hits Dark types. Yes. Just gonna Willow right here. Gonna get it off on the Meow Stick. And uh, I'm gonna go for Defog right here. And if he wants to, I'm pretty sure Defog gets rid of screens, as it does. And uh, we will switch out into Weevil. <laughs> Weevil. And we'll knock something off. And if this Meow Stick wants to set up another screen, then it's uh, it's pretty much dead at that point. As he goes for a Psychic. Awesome. Okay. So we're able to pretty much get off a free knockoff here. And what are we? Uh, what set are we? We are Choice Bandit. Okay. So that was going to kill through a, a screen even with. Um, even without his Meow Stick being weakened, pretty much, it was going down, so... He has a Megalopony! Okay, now things just got interesting. We're Arceus Dragon, that's really good. That's gonna be able to sweep up the game later. Uh, Sand Slash is pretty defensive, I like that, okay. Um, I don't really want to switch my Mew in on a return. So I'm gonna switch into Sand Slash. Seems perfectly fine. As he's gonna go for the return, awesome. I'm only gonna take 43% from that. Which tells me that I think we should be able to live a high jump kick. So I'm just going to go for EQ right here. And even if he knocks me out, that means I get a free switch into Mew anyway. So, And uh, I'm able to Will-O-Wisp something else. So yeah, that's uh, things are looking good. Yep, we are able to live that. Beautiful. And able to get off 25% on his Lopany. He can pretty much freely go for a return right here. I re really wish this was Arceus Dragon. Uh, sorry, Ghost right about now, but this thing still hits Ghost. What am I saying? Um, that wouldn't change a thing. Let's just go for the Earthquake again. He goes for return. That's fine. And now I can bring in my Mew. And I can either choose to Psy Shock or a Sphere or a Will-O-Wisp. And Will-O-Wisp is definitely my best play. As, uh, actually, Psy Shock might be my best play. Because if he switches into something that either sucks this up, like a Fire type or something like that, that would be bad, so... And I can always revenge him with Weavile later with Ice Shard. I think we have Ice Shard, right? We do have Ice Shard. Okay, good. Yeah, then I'm definitely going for Psy Shock on this turn. Let's find out what he has in the back. He's probably not going to want to keep his Lopany in anyway. So, we'll find out what he has. Uh, I could have Psychic right here. I don't think he's seen it. He hasn't seen an offensive move yet, so. 
He's gonna go to Zoomerill, actually. So if that would have gotten burned, that would have been amazing. Um, which is actually what I'm gonna do right now. Because I'm really not fearing a Belly Drum or anything like that. Uh, never mind. <laughs> he does have it. But he's burned, so he's only at plus three, I believe. How much does Sideshock do? 28. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna swap into... Um... What does Noctowl do for me? Alright, goodbye Noctowl. <laughs> You're gone. Uh, he's gonna go for knockoff, that's what I was fearing. But this is actually good. He's gonna go for Aqua Jet right here, and then I'm gonna be able to bring in Arceus and E-Speed him. Which is what I wanted. I'm gonna go for Roost. Hopefully uh, he goes for that Aqua Jet. Not something ridiculous. Uh, knockoff did 64, so... Actually, I don't know if Aqua Jet kills. Yeah, he, he would have to go for Play Rough, yeah. And uh, here we can just go into Arceus Dragon and fire off an E-Speed and pretty much kill anything, including this Azumarill. And uh, now I'm scared of the Lopany again, but we still have Mew, so we're all good. Um, Lopany's gonna come in. I'm gonna Swords Dance right here. He's actually gonna Ice Punch, which is gonna do absolutely nothing. That's great. And we're just going to... Um, I think Earthquake is my best play. Uh, no, E-Speed's my best play because I don't want to get frozen randomly and, uh, lose to that, so. Just gonna E-Speed again. We are 436 attack right now, so. And we do outspeed a majority of things. Uh, Lopening is obviously faster, but this thing at level 100 hits 372 speed. Max invested. Uh, this is neutral across the board, I believe, but we're faster than this. Like, we can knock this straight out with an Outrage, I believe. I don't think it's bulky enough to take one. Maybe he's baiting me into outraging and he actually has a slurp puff in the back. He's just about to sweep me, but I mean, it's, we have to go for it. <laughs> As Diggersby comes in, uh, if he has quick attack, I believe it does take me out. We'll see though. And uh, we still have Mew again. Mew, Mew just walls everything. Mew is so good. <laughs> the only thing it doesn't wall is dark types and ghost types, like legitimately. That's that's all it that's all it doesn't wall. Uh, he's gonna go into Dragalge. I'm actually gonna switch out here. I don't really have a reason to stand. I'm just gonna go Weavile, honestly. Uh, no. Let's get rid of Raichu. Let's leave all the OU and above Mons alive for the last battle. He's going to Sludge Wave and not take out Raichu, actually. I was actually expecting him to take me out there. I guess he's not Specs. He could be. That just could be a miscalc on my part. Um, and what do I want to finish this off with? Um, you know what? Mew, you were there the whole game. You stayed alive for me, so you're gonna get the last kill. Go for a Psy Shock, take this Dragalge out, and uh, leave us off on that, buddy. Come on. Click your move, man. It's probably gonna go for a Draco Meteor. And if this doesn't take out Dragalge, I'm gonna be very upset with you, Mew. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I know you put in a lot of work this game. I know you burnt the Azumarill. I know you, uh,. You got rid of those screens at the beginning of the light screen. Not that that did anything for the rest of the team, but anyway. Um, <laughs> you did uh, you did some good work, Mew. So please, please, for the love of all that is good, take out this Dracalgy right now. Why is he not clicking his move? I don't understand why people do this on the last turn of the game. Like, what are you trying to accomplish? Come on. Sorry if I sound like I'm getting a little bit angry, guys, but I am. I'm trying to close off the episode, and this guy just won't click Sludge Wave or, or Draco Meteor. I mean, he has no reason not to click one of those two moves right now. Definitely Sludge Wave. I would go with Sludge Wave, personally. Because if you have any hope of living, then you, you don't lower your special attack. <laughs> but, um... Anyway, I'll pause it until he makes a move, guys. I'm sorry. And there we go. So we, uh, I think I caught the end of the animation for Psy Shock right there, hopefully. And uh, you guys saw Mew, uh, Mew coming through and taking out that Dragology for us. So I am going to leave it off there. Uh, it's a little bit shorter of an episode than what I'm used to. I, did, I think we had a 19 or 20 minute episode. What am I talking about? Uh, my, my upload lengths are sporadic. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you liked, uh, if you enjoyed the episode as usual, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you want to see more. And leave a comment, again, for who you want to see on the channel. If you have any suggestions whatsoever, I don't care if it's Jay Witz, Shady Penguin, uh, Nappy. Just, just leave suggestions. Uh, anybody, uh, or if you want to be on the channel yourself, um, I'll be happy to have random battles with pretty much anybody. 
uh, just uh, hit me up on Twitter. My Twitter link is in the description down below as well. Let me know that you want to have a battle and uh, or just be on an episode and w I'll get you on. And uh, yeah, that's it. So uh, if, you've, if you've gotten this far, thank you again so much for watching, you guys. Uh, really, it's it's very few views on the videos up until now, but uh, I can't complain, really. I haven't put myself out there in any way, uh, but uh, for the ones that do watch, thank you so much. I really appreciate it, and uh, have a good one, guys. Ciao.